From a black hole powered starship to a solar sail the size of Texas, this is the Spaceship Concept Tier List. Project Day Dallas was a British proposal for a fusion powered starship that would fly at 12% the speed of light and reach another star in just 50 years. With six massive hydrogen fuel tanks attached, this thing was wider than an Olympic swimming pool and taller than two Statues of Liberty. D tier. Bussard Ramjet. What if instead of carrying ridiculously big fuel tanks, you fueled up your spaceship by collecting hydrogen atoms along the way with an enormous magnetic field and turning them into fusion power? This idea was proposed by one of Project Day Dallas scientists and could in theory push the ship to near light speeds with no fuel, but the plan was eventually scrapped since catching the hydrogen took more energy than the fusion gave back. However, in 2022, physicists actually said the concept is physically feasible. You just need to create a magnetic field the size of the distance from the Earth to the Sun. C tier. O'Neill Cylinder Proposed by renowned physicist Gerard O'Neill in 1976 and endorsed by Bezos in recent years, this rotating space settlement is large enough to mimic Earth's gravity and could in theory hold permanent human cities, farms, and factories. Sunlight would be reflected into the tube using giant mirrors, and solar arrays would power everything up. You actually need to connect at least two of these to keep them stable, with each one costing about $900 million to $10 trillion. The building materials would be shot out from the moon using an electromagnetic catapult the size of a runway, and it would be assembled in orbit using self-replicating robots. O'Neill's design used steel, but if strong materials like graphene were used, the inside surface area could be the size of Cyprus, or even Switzerland in theory. Strong B tier. Solar sails. You can actually sail in space using the sunlight, and it might be the most realistic concept thus far, because one of these sails is orbiting Earth right now. The sun's solar radiation can give you very little push in space because there's no friction with anything. And if your sail is large enough, these little pushes could add up over time and reach crazy speeds with no fuel. If the sail is the size of the Central Park, it would take about 10,000 years to reach Alpha Centauri. But if it's as big as Texas, it might take around 300 years. However, if you want to send three living astronauts astronauts there, the sail would need to be bigger than Africa. NASA actually released a 2069 mission concept to send a probe to Alpha Centauri using solar sails, but also by propelling it with high energy lasers. It could reach 10% the speed of light and get there in like 40 years. Solid A. Medusa Spaceship Drive. Why sail on sunlight when you can sail on your own nuclear explosions? The Medusa Drive uses a humble sail parachute about the size of a volcanic crater to propel itself the shock of its own controlled nuclear explosions in the space vacuum. The sail is connected to a spaceship using 10,000 cables, each several kilometers long, and could accelerate a crewed vessel to as much as 10% the speed of light over time. By using the sail concept, you actually capture more of the blast power than other nuclear proposals, making it more efficient while carrying bigger payloads. John Dale Solom, who came up with the idea in the 90s, suggested using relatively small nuclear charges about the size of the Hiroshima bomb. The sail can gain free extra speed by also being a solar sail. Villa Bono's Mars Glider Aerospace engineer Philip Bono was sick of complex rockets with a bunch of different modules to get to Mars, so he proposed an even more complex all-in-one space fortress that would send this black glider straight to Mars and back. Philip also designed this 10-story military spacecraft meant to carry US Marines anywhere on Earth in an hour or two. The 60s were crazy. Super Orion Here's actual test footage from the Orion project of the pusher plate concept, which was seriously believed to be the answer to planetary travel in the 60s, since it could reach anywhere in the solar system in just one year. The idea was to detonate small nuclear bombs behind a pusher plate that could absorb the shock and push the ship forward. This method is actually more efficient than chemical rockets, and the largest design shift in the project was the Super Orion, an 8 million tons interstellar arc that would be pushed using thermonuclear hydrogen bombs. Look at that central building right in the middle of the picture, 130 foot diameter library that is exactly the size of the base of the spaceship so put that library at the bottom of that ship that's how big the thing was some versions even suggested making the pusher plate out of uranium that could later be used for fuel after reaching a star it was estimated to reach 9 to 10 percent the speed of light and astronomer carl sagan said nuclear stockpiles could be positively used for this mission but the project was eventually canceled due to the 1963 nuclear test ban treaty and other safety concerns super orion is probably the largest spaceship ever seriously proposed b tier Black Hole Starship Although practically impossible with current technology, forming a tiny black hole from light energy could in theory solve almost every space traveling problem we have. A tiny man-made black hole that is
is fed daily with all these ship's waste could fuel the ship with insanely high 100% efficient radiation energy that would accelerate the ship to up to 10 or even 90% the speed of light. This would make interstellar travel very possible in human timescales and will allow us to reach other solar systems in decades. Flights within our own solar system would take days or weeks and a single black hole could potentially power an entire fleet. Unfortunately, a recent study titled No Black Holes from Light says this idea is likely impossible unless you have extremely ideal conditions.